Welcome to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm going to make my favorite quejadas de mendoa. Uh, these are so soft and moist, uh, easy to make. Um, and I, I can't explain how moist these quejadas really are. You bite into them and you can taste how soft and moist they are in your mouth. They're mouth watering, really. They're so good. This is a recipe you want to hold on to. They're super easy to make. Now, before I start the recipe, I want to explain uh, what I'm uh, going to be using to make these quejadas. Uh, I'm going to be using a form. Uh, now, you can use a cupcake tin. By all means, you can. Just when you fill the batter, you're going to fill it halfway because they will uh, rise in the oven. Uh, and then the tins, which a lot of you have asked me, Nancy, where have you purchased your quejada forms? Uh, I use these forms for uh, pastéis nata, quejadas de vila, and quejadas de feijão. And obviously, quejadas de amendoa. Uh, now there's two of them. Uh, I have a, uh, a form here that's a little deeper uh, as far as uh, how it looks. And then when I say a little deeper, meaning larger, uh, I have another one here. So you can see the difference of the quejada form. So one is a little more shallow and smaller and the other one's a little deeper. I'm gonna leave links down below on the description as to where you can purchase them. Uh, and I hope you stay with me to watch how to make my quejadas de mendoa step by step. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna start off by preparing my cupcake tins. I have here half a cup of all-purpose flour, which I'm gonna be using this to coat my cupcake tins. And here I have one tablespoon of butter, which is at room temperature and unsalted. And I'm also going to show you the tools I'll need. I have a sifter. I also have a pastry brush. And then to your right and my left, I have a baking tray with parchment paper. Now here are the cupcake forms that I'll be using for the quejadas de amendua, but you can also use a cupcake tray for this recipe if you don't have the cupcake forms. Now I'm going to start off by using the pastry brush and just dipping it into the butter and coating the cupcake tin completely. So you want to coat the whole inside of the tin just right to the top. I'm going to continue coating the cupcake tins and once I'm done I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, I've buttered all my cupcake tins and the next step I'm going to be using the all-purpose flour and I'm taking the sifter, it's a little sifter here, I'm just going to scoop up some all-purpose flour and now I'm going to simply dust a generous amount of the flour in each tin, just as I'm doing here. Now for the next step, you can see that I dusted the flour. There's a generous amount of flour into the tin. And all I'm going to do next is to simply just tap the tin on the counter. And I'm just gonna move it on a circular motion to ensure that the whole tin in the inside is coated with the flour, just as I'm doing here. Now I usually do this a little faster, but I wanna make sure you guys are watching and seeing how to make these quejadas and coating them uh, in a slow motion. So you can see that the tin is completely coated. You're going to place it on a baking tray and you're gonna continue doing the same thing with all of the cupcake tins and making sure that the uh, tins are completely coated with the flour. Okay, as you can see, I have all the cupcake tins coated with butter and flour. And now let's move on to the next step. To mix the ingredients for the quejadas de mendoa, I'm going to be using my stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer. I'm going to start off by placing six large eggs in the mixing bowl. And to that, I'm going to add one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Place it all in there. Now I've added my wire whisk attachment. I'm going to let that mix together for two minutes on high speed. After two minutes of mixing, I'm ready to add the next ingredient. And I'm just gonna remove the attachment. So for the next ingredient, I have here two and a half cups of almond flour. 
Now this is blanched almond flour. It doesn't have the peel. And I'm going to also add one teaspoon of lemon zest. So basically it's half a lemon and when you zest the half the lemon, I get one teaspoon of the lemon zest. Now I'm gonna place back my wire whisk attachment and I'm placing the mixer on a medium speed. Let that combine for a few seconds and while it's mixing, I'm going to add half a cup of melted butter and the butter is unsalted and when I say half a cup of melted butter, it has to be melted and then you measure half a cup. And next I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm going to let that continue mixing for another 30 seconds before I add the last ingredient. Now for the last ingredient, I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. A little goes a long way, so it's just perfect for this recipe. Now I'm gonna let it continue mixing for 20 seconds, and then I'll be ready to show you the next step. After 20 seconds of mixing, stop the mixer. Before I place it in the tins, I'm gonna give it a nice quick stir. Just combine everything from the bottom. I like to make sure that all my mixture is combined. Look at that mixture. It's a perfect quejada de mendua mixture. Now at this point, before you place the batter in the cupcake tins, you wanna make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, I'm gonna pour the batter in this cup, which has an extension. It just makes less of a mess for me when I'm placing the batter in the tins. I'm gonna place all of the batter in the cup, and then it's just easier for me to pour the batter into each of the tins. Now, if I'm using the cupcake tins, I generally fill the tins about three quarters full, but if you're using a cupcake tray, you wanna make sure you fill it halfway. Now, for the next step, I'm just gonna take the tin and I'm gonna gently tap it on the tray, or you can do it on the side of your counter, just to even out the batter on each of the tins. For the last and final ingredient, I have here half a cup of sliced almonds. I'm gonna just simply drizzle some almonds on each of the quejadas, and then they're ready to go into the oven. The quejadas de amendo are ready to go into the oven, and you're gonna bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the quejadas de amendoa are done. They look perfect. You just wanna let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before you remove them from the forms. I waited about 10 minutes, I can't wait any longer. So I'm gonna show you how to remove these quejadas de amendoa from the uh, cupcake form. So what we're gonna do is just going to, uh, let me just make some room here. I'm gonna slide the tray over and you're gonna gently tap the form right onto the counter or a tray, and then you're just gonna flip it right out. Look at that beautiful color, lightly golden brown on the top. And they're still warm, but perfect. Look at that. So that's your quejada de amendua. I'm gonna just place it onto a tray here and continue removing the quejadas de amendua from the forms. Now the quejada de mendua is perfect. It has a beautiful light golden brown on the top and on the bottom. It's just a perfect color. And now let's see how the inside is. Perfect every time. So soft and moist. It's that easy to make my recipe for quejadas de mendua. I hope you give this recipe a try. And there you have it, my quejadas de mendua. They're so easy and so delicious. I wanna break into it just so you can see what it looks like. Even though I did that earlier, I want you to actually see how soft it looks when you're breaking into it. Look at that, look at that. It's so delicious. I wish you could taste it, but 
I'm gonna taste it for you. Even though I've had this a million times, uh, not a million, but you know what I mean. I've had these so many times. They're, they're just so delicious. And I hope you all enjoy the recipe. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Mmm, so good. You taste the almond with a little bit of the zest of the lemon. Mmm, so worthwhile making. Mm -hmm.